What's up everybody, Jesse here, or Game Over Jesse as you all may know me, and today I have my beautiful daughter here with me to help me with this video because we have a question for you guys. A very, very important question. Something's been on our minds for a while and it's kind of been confusing for me at least. I don't know about her, but we want to know your opinion. We need your help on this. Is frames per second more important than resolution? Now. I ask this because with the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One and the Wii U, certain games that should have been able to run fine at 1080p are now running at 720p or 900p because they want it to lock in that 60 frames a second. Which is understandable if that's what you want, but personally, I would rather have a crisp, clear image at 30 frames a second where it still looks fine 30 frames a second instead of having it a like clear motion or whatever you want to call it at 60 frames a second which again the frames per second is fine as long as it's not like 20 or below or something it's completely fine with me but the moment that I'm playing a game and what's supposed to be basically a straight line like a sword shoved in the ground or something suddenly has a bunch of jaggies that shouldn't be there. Now that beautiful picture doesn't look too pretty. And they sacrificed that? They made it look uglier? They had it have all these nasty jagged edges? Just so it could run at 60 frames a second? And a lot of people say, well, it's it's better to play first person shooters like Call of Duty or Destiny or something at 60 frames a second. But my counter argument is well, say it's 720p and you have less pixels to make the image on the screen, and there's someone really far off in the distance that you're trying to kill with your sniper rifle or whatever. And if it's in 1080p or 1440p or 4K, which I've played games in all of those but if it's at a higher resolution it's going to be clear you can see whether or not your tiny little dot on the screen is on their head or their shoulder or not on them at all if it's at 720p the image is a little bit blurred you can't really tell whether or not it's there or not is it on them is it off of them you don't really know because your reticle your little marker on the screen and the person like, their pixel that should be their outline is now kind of blurred or anti-aliased with the background. So, is it on them? Is it not? It seems to me that whether or not your target is actually in your sight at the center of your screen would be more important than the frames per second. But that's just me. Personally, everything I think to just run at 4K at 120 frames a second or something like that, but that's really not possible unless you have like thousands and thousands of dollars invested in GPUs and a CPU alone. So, what are your thoughts on this? Is resolution more important than frames per second, or are you not in agreement with me and you have your own thoughts to where frames per second are more important? Because I can go either way. I don't mind playing games at 720p. I don't mind playing games at 30 frames a second. But, for example, The Witcher, instead of making it run at 720p or something on a console and hitting 60 frames per second or as close as they could get to 60 frames a second, they would rather have it at the highest resolution they could and then the game run at 30 frames per second which I'm actually a fan of but then there's other games that are saying no no this game is going to be 720p and we're going to hit 60 frames a second it just has to be otherwise we can't publish it then I don't really get that they should give you an option if you want to play at 1080p at 30 frames a second you can do that if you want to play at 720p at 60 frames a second or somewhere in between you can do that 
So, again, I want to know your thoughts. Comment below, let me know. What side of the argument are you on? Which is more important to you? Click over here for more discussion videos like this. Click right here for... Hmm. Click right here for some Zelda theories. And click up here to help support this channel. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.